So welcome to your 8th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the list box control in Visual Basic and what the list box control is is you've probably seen it before well it's basically like this actually it's just basically a list of items we can click on, we can click on it, add items, remove items we can do all sorts of things so I'm just going to rename this form to um, my form I don't know what to name it really and then I'm just going to put in a list box and you can find that in the toolbox so just resize that however you like and I'm going to make the form bigger and now put a button next to it just one for now and change this to add item and in Visual Studio we can add items before it's even run so click on the list box and press edit items and we can put whatever we want so you can put pizza coke uh, lemonade burger chips and then if you press ok you see we've got this big list so if we run it you can see we've got this big list of things and we can select them but we can only select one at a time so I'm just going to remove those items now press ok and you see it just defaults back to the default text that doesn't actually show if it's empty so if I run that you see it's just a big empty box so now when we want when we press this button we want it to be able to add like an item to this and I'm just gonna put the word pizza so if you just double click on this button and make some space in there if you put list box one dot and then so we're uh, selecting the control here so list box one dot items so it's setting the property and then add so adding a property uh, sorry adding an item then we put the brackets and then we put the item that we want to add so here I'm going to put pizza so if we press the run button and then you see when we press this button you see it adds pizza so we can just keep doing that and it keeps adding pizza and if we change this like if we change this to coke it will keep adding coke so now we can also have a text box and when we type something into that text box and press the button it will add that text into here so just find the text box text box control ah oh, there it is and just make that the same width as the button put it above the button though and just put it like that and for this button we're going to change the co some code so what we're going to do is change this pizza and get rid of the quotations as well and we're going to change it to text box one dot text so the item that we're going to add is going to be the text that is inside text box one so if we run this now and type in pizza add item pizza coke coke and then pasta and so yeah you get the idea we could just keep adding pasta if we want so now what if we want to remove the item that is selected well just copy this button and paste it just so that we've got the, na the nice size and shape of it well obviously it's the same shape and just change the text to remove item like that down in the properties window and I'm going to resize this just like that so just so that it looks nicer now and double click on the remove item button make some space in there and we're going to do list box one dot items dot remove so instead of I've got to spell it right instead of putting add we're removing and then the one that we're going to remove is list box one dot selected item so like that so basically we're removing uh, the selected item that is in list box one so now if we run this 
And we put like pizza. Burger. Stuff like that. And uh, we just click on burger, remove item, and it removes. And notice how when we type something in here, so if I type in burger and press add item, it doesn't disappear from here. So we can't quickly keep typing. So instead what we can do, uh, well to get around that, we can set it so that when add item is pressed, this text box is cleared. So just double click on add item and underneath this we want to put uh, text box one dot clear like that so now if we run this and we type in burger and we press add item you see it kind of like jumped over there and removed from here so that's your tutorial on how to use list boxes add items to them and remove items from them in visual basic don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.